everyone, here's another Google Meet tip for you. During your Google Meet, you may want to take a screenshot of your students to share out either on Seesaw or out on social media. But with that, you're going to notice that student names, first names, and last names both show up. And for student privacy reasons, we need to black those out. In addition to that, what you may not have known is that if you take your screenshot and your URL for the Google Meet is at the top of your image, people can type in that URL and actually join your Meet, even though the Meet is no longer going on. So for security purposes, you're going to want to make sure that that is either cropped out or blurred out as well. So what I always do is I open up the picture. It's usually on my desktop. I open that picture up and it opens up into preview. Once I'm in preview, you'll see that there's this little bitty marker tool up here in the top right corner. When I click on that, I'm going to get a toolbar of different um, features up here, whether it be a text box, shapes, etc., that I can actually draw right um, and change my picture. So the way I typically do this is I go to the shape tool here on the top left. I choose the shape that I want. I choose a rectangle and you can see right now it's white. I typically black mine out. So I come up over here to the two color boxes. This is the fill box. I change it to black. I change the outline, the border color, to black as well. And then what I do is I drag it over to the person's name and I resize it so I have that small rectangle. Now obviously as you can see here I have quite a few people on my Google Meet right now. I don't want to do that each and every time so my shortcut then is that I do a command C so that I copy that rectangle. It's the size I want for all of the other names and then I can command V to duplicate it, drag it over to the next person, command V again, drag it to the next name, command V again, and I can keep going. So as you can see, this makes it a lot faster. The other thing that I do is I always make sure, as I mentioned, that the URL at the top is blacked out or white out, depending on what you want to do there. So again, I'm going to command V, I'm going to bring it up, and this time I'm going to get rid of the whole entire URL. You can leave it black if you want. I'm going to change mine to white so it blends in and as you can see that URL is now gone. The other thing that you can do from this screen if you don't want to black it out or white it out is there is also this um, tool here as you can see it's the dotted square. If I click there that is a cropping tool and with that I can crop just by clicking and dragging as you can see I'm doing right here. Click and drag and then up here in the middle of the screen it says crop. When I crop it will take off all of those pieces as well. So if you don't want to just blank out the URL, you can actually crop it off. Hope that helps you out. It's important to keep student privacy in mind when doing Google Meets and sharing out on social media. So please consider using that tip to keep that privacy intact for our students. Any questions, let me know.